Hello guys! Welcome back to my uh, GD study, my YouTube channel. And I hope everything is well today. It's very warm outside. So hopefully you have fun outside. And today I have heard that I would like to share to you about GED science study and practice questions and answers about the Punnett Square. This is very interesting for me because I had a hard time learning it when I was studying GED back like three years ago. So let's get started. I have my own example here. So here you go. There's the reason I will read it and we'll go to like four questions here. The Punnett square shows possible combination of alleles for the color in offspring bell paper plants. When two color hybrid bell paper plants are crossed, a capital B represents the dominant color blue allele, and a lowercase b the recessive yellow color of allele. One parent of alleles are shown along the top of the square, the others are shown in the left side. So this is the left. This is the top and this is the left. So this is one parent and this is another parent. So the genotype of the offspring are shown in the boxes. So this is the genotype. Here's BB, BB. That means blue, 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 yellow, blue, yellow, yellow, yellow. So here's the number one questions that I made. Number one questions. What are the two parents of the bell paper? Is it a yellow? Is it B blue or C red? And the answer is B blue. It's pretty easy, guys. And let's go to the number two question. Number two question. I wanted to grow only blue bell paper plants in my garden. Which one of the following genotype would give me I'm lacking here the best result? Is it a BB? I mean a lowercase BB B uppercase and lowercase B uppercase uppercase B and a lowercase B and C, uh, two uppercase B. And the answer is, letter C, B, B. So here, B and B. That's, that's if I wanted to grow only blue bell paper plants in my garden. So this is the genotype that I have to, to plant. So let's go to the number. Oh, that's number two. Miss a lot of numbering here. Okay. Let's go to the number three question. Number three. What chance is there that an offspring will be yellow? Is it E, 1 out of 4? Is it B, 2 out of 4? Or is it C, 3 out of 4? Let's see the answer. And the answer is letter E, 1 out of 4. So the yellow is here in the box. It's only 1. That's the yellow. And this one is mixed, and that one is mixed, and this one is blue. And let's go... And that again is supposed to be number three answer. Okay. And the number four question. What chance is there that an offspring will be blue? Is it A, three out of four? Or B, two out of four? Or C, one out, one out of four? And the answer is letter C, one out of four. There's only one box here. Or the three four. 
so that would be would be blue so that's all for today guys this is just a quick video so that I can have a, I can upload for my day off today is my day off and I have a lot of work to do so I have a little chance to make this and then I can upload I I will try my best to upload every Sunday and Thursday as I can if I have a little bit of time extra because today I was busy I went to the meeting and I went to the doctor and and cleaning and stuff so a lot of stuff to do but I'm glad I can do this a little bit of uh, video for you guys so thank you guys for watching consider subscribe like share in comments below if you can or you can suggest what video do you like me to upload next well about I would like to upload more about learning JD or for high school people or anybody that wanted to learn something every day and I will see you guys in my next video you have a wonderful day take care and Bye.